I'm good friends with Dana White, and uh, Dana's a he's a real degenerate. <laughs> like a hard... I love how big. That's the best way to describe. Oh, he'll describe it that way. Oh, yeah, like I get most, it from him. They most like your big horse racing guys. Uh-huh. They all their adjective of themselves is I'm a degenerate. That's the first thing they well, say. Well, Jamie and I, <laughs> Jamie and I went to visit. We went with Shane Gillis and a bunch of other guys. We went to visit Dana while he's gambling. When we got there, he was down six hundred thousand mm. dollars. And I was like, "What is happening?" I heard here? him say he learned how to play back rap because you can bet more. Like you can, <laughs> you can bet like 500k a hand or something or it's crazy like that. <laughs> That's so crazy. I could I I was getting anxiety just sitting there watching. And so then then Taylor Luan came over and Dana and Taylor have this deal where Dana teaches Taylor what to gamble and how to do it. They're down $120,000 in what? 5 minutes? Five minutes. Five minutes are down 120 grand. And I'm just sitting there going, what the? And look, Dana is rich as shit. Obviously. I, I know Taylor is wealthy, but there's like a level where you could lose $125,000 is $125,000. Well, yeah. I mean, I've learned kind of like if you're betting 1000 a hand, you can get down 50 Yeah. Like in yeah. quick. But when you transition to that 30, 40, 50,000 a hand, you'll be down a million or two. A million or two, and, yeah. and I, I say because I've watched some other buddies that bet on that level. I'm talking about like 15 hand swing is an eight hundred thousand dollar swing, and I'm like, <laughs> but that's the scary part about gambling when you start when you don't have much money and you grow into some money, but your your level of what you want to press your your anxiety level yeah. and your endorphins and all that it grows with your. Your wealth, and man, next thing you know, you're. Well, that's the only way they get their fix, right? Too. They yeah, can't you play gotta, twenty dollars a hand. Yeah, right. That goes away. Right. It's like right. right. Well, it's like the whole. You know, it's there's a lot in society that, you know, I think we're preyed upon with those, with that mm-hmm. thought process, gambling, and and a lot dopamine of dopamine hits. Right. Yeah. 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 And, and then once one level of the dopamine levels out, then mm-hmm. the, you go to the next one. Yeah. It's it's hard <laughs> to watch. Like, forget about doing it. It's hard to watch. Like I don't, I don't get it. I'm glad I well, don't do I it. Well, I can say that that I've always had fun with it. I mean, I, I've always had fun gambling, and and a lot of times I take my band after we get off stage, and we'd have one band night, and I'd like set them all up with some chips, and and I've gotten at a craps table where I can kind of manage everybody's bets, and I'm like, don't do that now. Wait, <laughs> wait, and it's kind of like the, uh, you know. Steer, steering the mothership and we, we had some great nights you know just laughing and cutting up and you know cheering you know you know like i said one guy wa- walks up and everybody rubs his head for good you know it's just <laughs> it's just if you camaraderie you know at the, yeah. at the craps table I, I i gambled so much at the craps table my last night they let my craps team that dealt me all the craps come on stage and we celebrated <laughs> the <laughs> I'm out there, like, I'm playing, and I look, and my, you know, because they work in teams, you know, they all, and my team comes out on stage, and dude, I was roaring laughing. I'm like, yeah, so. That's hilarious. (laughs) Look, I know people have a problem with gambling. I think it should be legal, but. It can get away from you. Yeah, well. But that's like a lot of things in this world. Alcohol. Uh, yeah. every, there's a lot of things that can get away from you. It yeah. It doesn't mean it should be illegal. Right. Well, Lord. It's just weird that it's only legal in a few states. I think that's expanding now. And then I remember when online gambling was illegal. Oh, yeah. And then. It wasn't that long ago. The early days of the UFC, online gambling was illegal. And then my, you know, because we're obviously southeastern Tennessee Bible Belt and I, I I don't know, but there's st- there's certain states. I guess Tennessee is a legal gambling state, because or maybe Georgia. I can't tell. I have to I have to talk to my nephews, uh, all of his buddies, and see if they're on the little apps. But man, they'll go sign their buddies up to get the two hundred dollar free. Bre- I mean, they got all kind of little racket. <laughs> yeah, well, and then also people would go to Indian reservations. That was the big right. Thing, and then you got to also crazy. Then like you got to pay the, illegal. the re, you got to pay the Indian reservation tax. Right. You know you got to pay your fifty cent to do the dollar bet. <laughs> yeah. Do that math. <laughs> yeah, and you only have to be like a small percentage Native American to get a piece of that. So there's a, a lot of millionaires just hanging around that casino, just enjoying it. 
But if you got a place like in Connecticut, like oh Mohegan and yeah. all that, they're great well, places. See, you know, uh, uh, typically on my way, kind of the Mohegan, I'd go play there a couple years. Or I did one night. I did three nights there, and dude, I'm like getting off stage, just sitting there gambling, and you know, I'm like, am I coming out ahead on this gig or what? But <laughs> I think I got out of there making a little money. Yeah. It's it's weird though that you could do that legally. Like, how, it's, well, then even like in Tennessee and Tunica back in the day, you just put a barge on the Mississippi River and right. you can gamble. It's yeah. like, well, what is that all about? I right, mean, that's that show Ozark. Right. Yeah. yeah. All, well, totally yeah. the same premise. You know, it's like put a barge on the river and uh, now let's take all these people's money. <laughs> yeah, my buddy Johnny he used to. He was a pool hustler. He used to call people riverboat gamblers. When guys would just go off, and he, you know, a guy was a gambling addict, you just yeah. trick him into a game. He's like, guy's a riverboat gambler. Or, yeah, that's the two analogies degenerate yeah. or riverboat gambler. Yeah. 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 Be, be, be careful of all of them.